Hi everyone, I hope you're well. Today's trip takes us into what we call the thumb of Michigan. The city climbs trip to Lattice Stairs five miles south, the bottom landing Leonard left down with runway two three at Bay City. Michigan's lower peninsula, of course, being shaped like a hand, is sometimes referred to as the mitten state, with the thumb region being a peninsula of its own, giving its own nickname. Michigan is also referred to as the Great Lakes State, being surrounded by four of the five Great Lakes. The northeastern quadrant of the Lower Peninsula is bordered by Lake Huron, with Saginaw Bay being formed between the thumb and the fingers. Bay City traffic lights area is clear of Lake 23 Bay City. Bay City is located right in the web of the thumb, and a stop at the local airport there revealed some fascinating history. The administration building dates back to 1929 and is listed in the National Register of Historic Places. The facility was undergoing some renovations at the time of my stop, and I hope to make another visit sometime once those are completed to explore some of the rich history of the airport in more depth. The village of Sibuing was founded in 1845 by John Auk, a Lutheran missionary sent to minister to the Native Americans. Sibuing comes from the Native American name for Crooked Creek, which one flowed nearby. The harbor here was once an important part of the local economy, shipping locally produced lumber, grain, and produce. The city of Caseville is located at the mouth of the Pigeon River and was originally called Pigeon River Settlement, being settled in 1836. It became a city in 2010. Home of the Cheeseburger and Caseville Festival, an annual 10-day event held toward the end of summer, unfortunately canceled this year due to COVID-19. Michigan Stom is home to several lighthouses, a couple of which we get to explore today. The Port Austin Reef Light is located on Port Austin Reef about a mile and a half from the mainland at the southerly side of the entrance to Saginaw Bay. The original light was built in 1878 and rebuilt in 1937. It sits on a concrete caisson 
approximately 30 feet above the waterline. The Point Au Barc Lighthouse marks a turning point for vessels from Lake Huron into Saginaw Bay and also serves as a caution for the Point Au Barc Reef that extends nearly two miles into Lake Huron. Built in 1857, the nearly 150-year-old 89-foot tall light tower is still in service as a navigational aid. As such, the tower is normally closed to the public except on certain event dates. However, the attached keeper's dwelling is now home to a museum and the Lighthouse County Park and Campground is located adjacent to the base of the light. The lighthouse was listed in the National Register of Historic Places in 1972. I hope you enjoyed today's trip around the thumb. If you'd like to see more of Michigan by air, please hit the thumbs up button and subscribe if you haven't already. If you have a favorite destination you'd like to see, let me know. I'm looking forward to sharing more sites with you as we continue to explore Michigan by air. Thanks for watching.